Hello, my name is Hayley Brown and today we're going to be making this planter. Now with all the droughts that we've been having during the summer, we wanted to make this planter not only look beautiful but be very functional at the same time. So what we've got is we've got a planter that's only a few boards deep and then the rest of this space is filled with water storage tanks and that's all connected up to a tap at the back here where we can drain off that water and use it in the rest of our garden. First, make a rectangular frame for the top of the planter using treated timber. Mine is 1.2 metres long by 30 centimetres wide. For the legs, make two U-frames to screw to either end of the rectangular frame. Mine measures 80 centimetres by 30 centimetres. Next, you'll need to add two shelves, one to support the water storage buckets and one for the planter. The shelf for the buckets needs to be far enough off the ground so you can get a watering can underneath to collect the recycled water. Once you've marked where your shelves need to be, simply cut and secure battens horizontally between the legs to create brackets for your shelves to sit on. For the planter shelf, measure and cut a base. I'm using a ply off cut from the bin storage. Notch out the corners so the base will sit on the brackets. So the water can flow into the reservoir, cut two slits in the planter base above where the water storage will sit. To do this, first draw a 10mm hole at both ends of your line and then cut the opening using a jigsaw. And that is the frame made. So what we've done here is we've used as many recycled bits of timber as we possibly could. So we've got the plywood top here that we've cut some slits in, which is going to allow the drainage to flow through into these buckets below. And the second level here we've done with cladding, and this isn't going to be seen, but it offers a really sturdy base for these water buckets to sit on. And the next thing we're going to do is join these two buckets up with a water buck connection kit. Make a mark on one of the buckets and drill a hole using a hole saw. Add one end of the buck connection kit and drill the other hole on the other bucket slightly lower to create a full. To connect the buckets, cut a length of pipe and attach the two ends of the connection kit. This will mean that as one of the bucket fills with water, it will flow through the connecting pipe into the second bucket, increasing the amount of water you can collect. I've decided to cut the front and sides with some timber I had left over from another project, but you can use anything to hand like pallet wood. Using a hand clamp will make holding the boards in place easier when screwing to the frame. On the back of the planter, only clad the top section so you still have access to the buckets. For the tap, drill a hole close to the bottom of the bucket with a full and another hole in the side of the cladding at the same height. Cut a length of pipe and attach to the bucket and thread through the hole in the cladding. Attach a tap to the end so you can collect the recycled water. Line the planter with some plastic by stapling in place and cutting off the excess. Then cut some slits in the gap so the water can pass through into the buckets. And that is our planter all made up. So we've cladded it all and lined the inside with this plastic. And we've also cut two grooves in the bottom here. And that's going to allow all the water from the plants to drain through and store in the reservoir below. And we've got a tap at the bottom so we can recycle that water. And finally, all we need to do now is put some gravel in the bottom for drainage, fill it up with some peat-free multi-purpose compost and plant in some roses. Fill your planter with a rose compost or a multi-purpose peat-free compost. Just make sure you add in a slow release fertilizer. Check the variety of rows to make sure that you're placing your planter in the best position. Water regularly and enjoy those blooms all over the summer months. 
And that is the plant finished. So we've topped it up with soil and put in these beautiful roses. So not only does this planter look fab, but it also saves you water. Thank you for watching everyone. If you've enjoyed this video, please do like and subscribe.